everybody. Thank you for being here today. If you end up enjoying the video, please drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I would really appreciate that. Last Sunday's video, we discussed me getting back on track and how I kind of let myself go a little bit. So today I want to show you how you don't have to sacrifice everything. You don't have to only eat chicken and broccoli. You can still eat good and look good at the same time. Meal one of the day. Probably my favorite meal of all time. We got Vital Farms eggs. And just, again, guys, I know I'm very repetitive, but look at that color. That is why we love Vital Farms and it tastes delicious. We have these English muffins. These are the blueberry, blueberry flavor. It's like a blueberry muffin, delicious. Got some pineapple there, good fruits, digestive enzymes, all in all, very well-balanced meal. It's gonna be filling and also taste amazing. these days, trying to put things together. Not very good at it. I'm actually trying to assemble this rogue trolley system, which is ending up being a little bit more difficult than I thought. Go figure. You know when people tell you it's just so satisfying to put something together, you just feel so accomplished? Well, I cannot relate with that feeling at all. I hate doing this kind of stuff. I feel like it's a waste of time. It's a beautiful day outside, I'd rather be out there. But anyway, I put on the trolley system to my rack. And once I get it fully installed, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm having two issues. One is that there's something wrong with the pin that goes into this handle, or maybe I just installed it wrong. And I'm afraid that it's actually stripping the screw or the bolt, I guess. So I'm gonna ask them about that before I go any further. And then I'm one nut short on that guy right over there. So unfortunately, I'm not really gonna be able to use this today, but I'll show you what it does at least. There are a lot of different applications for this trolley system. There's a lot of different exercises that you can do, which is why I wanted it, being that I'm so confined with my space here. So you can do shoulder presses, you can do chest presses if you bring the bench in here and just do some straight presses. You can do some rows. Again, that pin is not in there because I'm a little bit worried about it. And it's on a trolley, so as you can see here, I can pull the pin, and then it's got, it can come down just like this, so then you can hit different angles and whatnot. You can do, you can actually, I'll show you this, you can extend it like this, and then you can put it down. So if you wanna do, come on now, come on now. There we go. All right, I don't think you guys can see that, but you can come over here and you can do, Again, I need to attach this, but you can do deadlifts like this. So all in all, a pretty awesome piece for a home gym. Now it has some downsides, of course, which I'll talk about in another video. But for now, I'm gonna get a pre-workout meal and then I'm gonna actually hit a workout using this beautiful rack that's finally installed. Now, just because we're cleaning up the diet does not mean this has to be boring. You might just have to make a few better food choices. And for me, one of my favorite foods ever since I was a kid, cereal. I just never grew out of it. Now, the traditional breakfast cereal is obviously not too great for you, packed with sugar. But thankfully, Magic Spoon has come through in the clutch. I talked about these guys before on my channel, but in case you missed it, let me run you through this. Now check this stuff out. Magic Spoon cereal, zero grams of sugar, three grams of net carbs, and 11 grams of protein. They have four different flavors, cocoa, frosted, fruity, and blueberry. And I've had them all and they are all very good. These two are my favorite. And it's usually a toss up between cocoa and frosted. So today, I think I'm gonna go with frosted. And for those of you interested in the macronutrients, there you go. Little Alfie, what do you think, buddy? I know, maybe I'll give you some if you're lucky, but pretty solid. It smells delicious, I can tell you that. Here's the true taste test right here, bud. Sit. What's your review, bud? So Alfie got his turn, now I am up. Pour myself a healthy size bowl right here. By the way, if you pour milk into the bowl before your cereal. What kind of monster are you? I think somebody liked it, but you can't just follow me for my cereal. That's not how this works. Give you guys a taste test. Mm, it's delicious. Reminds me when I was a kid, watching cartoons, eat my bowl of cereal, but it's also not jam packed with sugar. And I'm getting probably 25 grams of protein 
just in this bowl of cereal. Pre-workout, you can't beat that. You know it's real because somebody likes it. That's so good. <laughs> I'm not even getting it. Give me my cereal back. I'm just kidding. But the great part about this is it's gluten-free, keto-friendly, all of these amazing qualities that typically you would not find in a cereal. And I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed with the taste. It's almost too good to be true, but you guys will love this stuff. So I would highly recommend that you guys go over to Magic Spoon dot com slash Travis and pick up the variety pack so you can try them all out for yourself. You will not be disappointed with any of the options and you can get free shipping using code Travis. So go to magicspoon.com slash Travis and get yourself some high protein, delicious cereal. So pre-workout, you guys already know, two scoops of high volume and two scoops of prolific. I'm about to be feeling amazing. All of these are gonna be sour green apple, which is my favorite flavor. And then during my workout, I'm gonna have four scoops of the amino sour green apples and my serving of creatine. I'm gonna get jacked, bro. I'm gonna get jacked. Now, obviously, eating good is not gonna be enough if you also wanna look good. You're gonna have to move your body, which is one of the reasons I've been loving this Apple Watch. I've never had a smartwatch before. It's awesome. Um, I love the fact that you can gamify everything. I think that's kind of gonna be the way of the future. But anyway, regardless of if you like to lift, run, bike, mixture of all of them, it doesn't matter. You gotta have some movement if you want to achieve your physique goals. For me, you guys know, I like to lift, I like to Peloton. Those are my things. And I like to take walks, which can actually be pretty effective, especially if you're pretty sedentary. You'd be amazed at what just walking could do. So I don't think you guys have even seen a workout on the rack, which I really wish these guys were uh, fully operational right now. But either way, we're gonna put this into good use and take you guys through a workout. I don't know if the suburbs are ready for my love of rap music. Flexing on the gram with your paycheck. Stop showing off them bills, you ain't paid yet. One exercise I learned to love during quarantine, pull-ups. And I'm still gonna incorporate them into my routine. I love them almost as like a hybrid of a warm-up and a first exercise. I typically do four sets of 10 reps just to get all my muscles loose. And it's super effective as I move into my more compound movements. Trying to gas me up, but she could barely move the needle. Hoppers always hating because they trying to do the needle. Guys, feels so good to bench press again. I can't even expl explain how good it feels not to be on a stupid Smith machine. Told her she could meet me at the chalet, bring her friends from the valley like we going back to Cali. To be honest, I don't even know if I can bench 225 anymore, but we'll find out. 185. Hopefully not a problem. Trying to gas me up, but she could barely move the needle. Hoppers always hating cause they trying to do the needle. I know I'ma make it cause I need to. Feeling like Sean from the Don. She do. Huh? Felt heavier than it should have. Safety first, kids. All right, guys. My all-time best is 315, but granted, I haven't benched. Well, I benched once last week, but other than that, Six months, I would say, since I've done a proper bench press. So 225 is probably gonna stretch me, unfortunately. I'm gonna need a section because we trying to make them bottles pop. Try to see the team and how we drip and made a body rock. <laughs> yeah, much harder than I ever want 225 to feel. So here's a perfect example of how this trolley system can really resemble machine work. So for example, I could do rows just like this. I'ma need a section cause we trying to make them bottles pop. Shot it, see the team and how we drip and made a body rock. Told the DJ play my shit cause I know that we got a bop. Pretty cool, right? For the space, you're not gonna find much better. If I could give you any advice when it comes to training, it's find something that you can adhere to because if it makes you miserable day in and day out, you're probably not gonna stick with it and do that, whatever it is, with intensity and focus. If you just go into the gym and go through the motions day after day, you're not really gonna get to the point that you want to be. But if you find something that you love to do, like riding the Peloton or lifting weights or Orange Theory, I mean, there's a reason that people that go to Orange Theory usually see results is because 
It's not easy, it's intense. Now it might not be um, in line with your goals if you wanna put on a bunch of muscle, but if you find something that you can do day after day and keep getting better every single session, you will inevitably see the results. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? So I come back downstairs from taking a shower. Cameraman has all my food prepped for the week. Look at that. Didn't even ask her. Just a beaut. Just a beaut. We appreciate you, cameraman. Mm -hmm. Someone left a comment saying that every time they watch the video, they just like the cameraman. Buddy, we're having a nice conversation here. Okay, well, nice talking to you too. <laughs> what do you guys think of the two new lights that hang down? They look wonderful, in my opinion. And then we also got a TV finally hung. This place is starting to finally come together. And then, if you guys didn't know, Rich Homie has his own furniture store, which is pretty cool. So the RH truck showed up yesterday, and we have this uh, this coffee table. And a rug is coming soon, yeah? And we'll be all set. Living the dream. Don't you agree, buddy? <laughs> If you guys can't tell, Alfie is the epitome of a Velcro dog. I've actually trained him and he'll probably act up now because I'm recording, but he'll let me finish my protein bar in peace because he cannot have that and then he will get a treat. But if you guys are not already on the P Science protein bar train, you might as well hop on. These things taste delicious. And when you check out the macronutrients, you're gonna be, your mind is gonna be blown under 200 calories and it literally tastes like a Pop-Tart. Mm. I look forward to this every single day, two times a day actually. And like it could possibly get any better, you guys can save 15% using drive at the .com. I'm telling you, this stuff, life changing. Can't forget your greens by the way guys. I know everyone's focused on macronutrients, but micronutrients, just as important. I'm making a mess. I didn't make a mess. I didn't make a mess. How does something that looks so bad taste so good? Refreshing. You know it's never fun when I got this thing in my hand, but I gotta take the old pedals off the Peloton, put the new ones on. You think it'd be super easy and very intuitive, but not for this guy. Get into my super professional toolkit here. Let's see, let's see. I'm not exactly sure how to do this. So apparently, I'm just an idiot. I'm not gonna figure this one out. No idea. Don't think I have the right to wrench with a 15 millimeter, but I think I need like a 16 or a 17 because these are some special uh, pedals that the previous owner got. I don't know. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Thank you. Anyway, as I was... He's hungry. He wants dinner and he's trying to tell me. It's not that time. Not that time. Anyway, I'll be using these uh, sandals probably forever that don't fit. About two sizes, three sizes too small. What is my life, guys? What is my life? If any uh, handy people want to come by and just do all the work for me, I'll pay you nicely, I promise. What's up? He's so excited to eat. I can't believe it. This dude, I've never seen the likes of it. I know, I know. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, yes. Can I offer you some of the greatest chips in the entire world? I'm okay. good. What? <laughs> These things, I mean, you know they're good when they're always sold out at Target. And check out the macronutrients on there. 120 calories per serving, only four grams of fat, and they are like crack. Don't let cameraman fool you. Sometimes she doesn't even like to record me. She's recording with a grudge right now. So it's probably terrible quality. But you know what? You still taste good. This might be the last time they see me in this truck. Wow. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Moving up in the world or moving down. You guys will find out very, very soon. But we are headed to a place called OSHA. No, not the Occupational Health and Safety Administration, although that would be pretty cool. And I don't know if that'd be a good or a bad thing, but it's a restaurant uh, that we've heard about. We've heard very good things. It's like a Thai Japanese restaurant. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm getting some sushi. All right, so let's see what we got over here. Spicy tuna roll, my favorite sushi in the entire world. 
Looks like we got some white rice. So Megan and I both got kind of like a build your own, um, what do we got, teriyaki bowl type of deal? Oh, wow. This is definitely mine. And then for an appetizer, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this. What is this, what is it called? Gyoza. Gyoza. This is like dumplings. Mmm. -hmm. 9.427 out of 10. That's amazing. So we're gonna add some of this rice in here. This is a nice little, you know, Sunday's my quote unquote cheat day, cheat meal, whatever you wanna call it, but you don't have to always go all out, you know, it's still awesome foods. Um, you got some vegetables, got some chicken, but you just got a little bit more flavor throughout the week. I'm a little less flexible and I tighten it up a little bit more. So if you guys want me to do a day of eating throughout the week, you just let me know. So Megan got cashew chicken. I got ginger chicken. Megan's actually looks a little bit better, but this is really good. Very, very good. We gotta try out the sushi. You can try this. Megan doesn't like sushi. I love sushi. You can just tell how fresh everything is. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And of course, you know, we do not end Sunday without trying at least one, maybe two, fat and weird cookies. This is the belt buster. Yeah, that sounds about right. They brought this back from last year. And this is a little different. So I think this is a cranberry cookie. This one probably will not be my favorite. You know, I'm not a big fruity person, but I at least gotta give it a try. Hold on, let me take a picture for the gram. If you guys aren't already following me there, you should be for real time updates on these things because right now, this, this bad boy is already sold out, guarantee ya. All right, let's get into the taste test. So it looks like we have some white chocolate chips, which could be the saving grace of this cookie. Wow, not what I was expecting at all. I really thought that cookie was gonna taste like a cranberry, which I'm not crazy about, but stuffed with cranberries actually adds a nice element of sweetness. This cookie is probably like an 8.24 out of 10. Definitely exceeding my expectations. Let's go in on the belt buster. Mmm. Mmm. Pecans, marshmallows, feels like I'm just eating Thanksgiving. And that is really going to do it for the day. We had some pretty great food and everything was pretty, you know, clean until the cookies had some high quality foods. I felt great, had an amazing workout. So when you take all those things and you combine that together, you're gonna end up achieving your goals. Now, like I mentioned, today was even a cheat day for me, which sometimes I go above and beyond, but you know, you don't always just need burgers and fries all the time. If you're craving sushi, get some sushi, maybe something that little has a little bit less fat, a little less calories, I don't wanna rant here. But you can have very good food and achieve your physique goals as well. So if you guys want me to do some more videos on that, all you gotta do is let me know in the comments down below. But thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could've been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I look forward to talking to y'all next time. Sorry, one more time. One more time. Two more times. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm laughing. Yeah, keep going. All right, one more time. So, now it has, now it has some dot, wow. Now it has some downsides, of course. So here's an example as to how this trolley symbol can really resemble, what did I say? Sorry, Greg, I'm messing up today, man. If I could give you any advice, <clears throat> ooh.